Herr General, you must break through and encircle the enemy along the Polish frontier, exploiting their lack of mobility. We will send preemptive strikes to destroy the Polish Air Force, therefore no aircraft will impede your advance. Speed is essential. A successful advance here will allow us to threaten Warsaw from the north and east simultaneously. In addition, we can welcome our Soviet friends to the key city of Brest-Litovsk on the new German-Soviet border. The General Staff will not be pleased if it is the Soviets who welcome us instead. Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Panzer General 2. This will be the second scenario of the Blitzkrieg campaign in Poland, September 1st, 1939, the outbreak of war officially in Europe for World War II. And we left it off last time at the field headquarters screen, and this is the screen that you go to after each scenario that you finish with your core units. And you can buy and sell units. And you can see we have prestige here, 1580. And we got a prototype artillery unit in the last one for getting a brilliant victory. So let's just go ahead and get some units. I know I'm gonna want another fighter and some more artillery and some tanks. I think for this scenario, our infantry is actually going to be okay. So, we're going to go ahead and actually sell this prototype so we can get more money to buy other units. This SIG, it, as you can see, it, it moves and it doesn't require a truck. And it has pretty good numbers, but it only has a range of 3 and an ammo count of 3. So outside of being more or less just relegated to defense it's not a great unit so we'll go ahead and reassign that and we're also going to reassign our recon unit and get some more money for that and then we'll replace that now you can see we have 2100 prestige to spend this tank here, even though it doesn't have a bar yet of experience, we're going to go ahead and keep it. Simply because of the spotting range, it'll act as a, another recon or like kind of like a scout tank. And once it reaches one bar of experience, the fact that it's an older tank will actually kind of diminish the, the more, with the more experience that it gets. But, We'll go ahead and leave that and we'll see if we can get a couple artillery and some planes in here and some more tanks. So here you can go to your requisition unit screen and just going from top to bottom you have air defense, anti-tanks, artillery, infantry, get, a, get quite a variety of infantry actually get some bridging units these are pretty useful in a couple scenarios actually whenever you need to cross a bunch of rivers particularly in Russia if I remember Jaeger units I believe are mountain units Bostrom are airborne units and cavalry is basically infantry recon and then you have your regulars and garrison and you have Strassstruppen, which I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be, but they have the same stats as a Pioneer, but they're a little cheaper, and I think that's because of the engineering factor. And then down here you have your recons and all of your tanks. We don't have a whole lot to choose from right now. We should get more later on, though. And we have three fighters that we can choose from. We're going to go ahead and buy the BF-109 because it does the same thing as the ME-109 for $12 less. And I don't really think there's a difference between them. So we'll go ahead and buy that. 
And right now we only have this one bomber that we can buy. So, if we have a bomber and a fighter, let's get a couple of tanks, maybe three. Let's see what kind we want. I usually prefer the three E's at this stage in the war. As you can see, they're much better than the 2A, but they can't spot as well. So that's something to take into consideration. I believe these two, 2A and 2D tanks are the only ones that spot at 3. Uh, I guess all of the light tanks do. So... The reason I'm not going to go for a Panzer 4C, even though it on paper looks pretty good, is because of the initiative. You can see it only has an initiative of 4, which means if it were to go up against, say, a 3E with an initiative of 6, it would most likely um, come out on, in a loss, basically. And Panzer 35 is only initiative of 3. So really it's between the Panzer 38 and 3E. And we'll go ahead and get the 3E since it's cheaper. It also has more ammo. So let's see. We'll get three of those. And then let's see. We need to replace our recon. And I want to get one more. So we have two. And then let's see if we can get a couple heavy artillery guns. Um, we'll just put them in regular trucks for now and then upgrade them later. I prefer to get quality over quantity, so early on we may have to just put some units in trucks and then upgrade it as we go. But I like to usually, especially with artillery, get the good good units first and then just don't upgrade them in, until it's time. I don't like going back and forth. Same thing with tanks. We'll probably keep these tanks for quite a while. And we'll upgrade this artillery at some point. Whenever it's time. Most likely after this scenario because artillery is very important. Okay, and I think that'll do it. We have $100 left. So let's go ahead and get to the map and plan out our strategy. So, it's September 5th, a few days after the invasion. We have 13 turns for a brilliant victory. The scenario is Shekinau. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. And we have fair weather, so that's good. So one thing you want to do when you're deploying your units is don't close the screen. It's very easy to hit the check mark, but as you can see, you have deployment zones, these gray zones. You can put your units in here, and as soon as you hit the check mark, they're going to disappear. And you will only be able to deploy your units at supply bases after that. If you look right here, when I click off of the unit and on, you can pretty clearly see where you're allowed to deploy and where you're not. So let's go ahead and plan out our strategy. We'll probably try and get an assault force to come down this way towards Piersnes or however it's pronounced and then they can head down this road towards Chequenau and these guys here can kind of close on Malala and try and take these towns through here and meet up at Chequenau with these guys kind of create a pincer movement on the uh, southern hacks here so let's deploy some units here. We're going to want a recon. We'll put it in the 
back since it can move the farthest and spot the farthest. And then we'll put an artillery here, a heavy gun and a medium gun, along with, say, two tanks and a pioneer. And then back here, we'll add, so let's come over here first because I want to give these guys a little bit of a push going through my lava. I don't want them to get bogged down. So let's go ahead and give them another artillery unit. Put it right here. And we'll give them a tank as well. Also a recon. And I think they have enough infantry. I just think they'll need tank and artillery support and of course spotting. So let's put the others up here to infantry and our tank here and these guys can catch up and fall behind these guys or maybe they'll come down this way and help. They can just kind of float and go where they're needed. And then we'll put our planes here at the airfield and we're good to go. Check the status report more time just to be sure we can use our planes all right so let's start on the north we'll go, just go north to south so we have two cavalry units here with three spotting range and each has a bar of experience so perhaps we can take these two towns and maybe get to this objective here in time to help these guys out so, let's see if there's anything on this base here. Alright, very nice. And we'll have these guys head down that way and start spot being able to spot. And then we'll take our recon and pull it up to about right here. And we can see that they have a cavalry unit, once again spotting at three. So we'll have to be careful putting anything along this line here. So let's see if we can do some more spotting. So we have artillery with a range of three and two bars of experience. A regular infantry with two bars of experience and a tank with two bars of experience, and it's a leader, which means it has aggressive maneuver. So this tracked movement for at five turns into six. They get a plus one on that. And oh, they have double aggressive maneuver, okay. So the tank can move at seven. We'll have to be wary of that. Make sure it can't get back to a, the artillery or anything. Speaking of artillery, we'll swing these guys around like this. And then they should be, if these guys advance, they should be able to shoot them next turn. We'll bring our pioneers right up here. Kind of invite these guys to come in so that we can hit them with our tanks and artillery. Generally, you don't want to move tanks into a forest like this, but I think they'll be okay. And then these guys definitely should be okay. Actually, I guess we could just put on a run of, of the infantry like that. Don't see any harm in doing that. And these guys will head down towards this airfield and the Malala region here. And these guys, same thing. Just had have them head in a general direction here so they can pivot whichever way is necessary. 
And since we have no more water, we'll just keep these guys here. That way we don't get surprised and lose this victory hex. And that does it in the north, so let's come down here towards the south and see what's heading towards Malawa here. Use our recon to scout ahead. We have a regular, two regulars. Um, let's see if we can get the artillery in good position here. Yeah, I think we can put the artillery right there. We'll bring our tank up this way. And bring the infantry right up behind. Like so. And then we'll bring these guys down also. These guys have trucks, these guys didn't. So the 11th division, you can see that down in the bottom left. They're part of the 11th division. These guys are part of the 217th. They're the ones with trucks, so we'll want to keep them. We'll want them to uh, head down this way and let the other guys defend Balawa, assuming that we take it. And we'll keep this recon. Actually, we'll move it up once, just in case it gets ganged up on and needs to retreat. So they have another tank down here and an artillery unit. Very good artillery unit, actually. Ah, we need to take that out pretty quick. So let's get our bomber on that. See if we can weaken it a little bit. So, predict 0 and 4, that would be very nice if it does that. And it destroyed 6 instead, and suppressed 4, so that's a really good outcome. And then, I don't, I know they said the Polish Air Force is destroyed, but I don't know if that's actually true, so we'll keep a fighter with our bomber for now. And we'll just hit these engineers here that are in the forest. These Polish engineers. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Fighters normally will not take anything when you strafe like that, but when they do, they gain a lot of experience, so it's worth doing. And that'll end the first turn. We have no more units to move. So let's see what the Polish decide to do. Tanks in position. Moving some engineers up. Engineer units for every country in this game are just a hassle to deal with. So anytime you see them, you it's probably a good idea to just try and destroy them as quick as possible. So let's start up here. I'll bring these guys down. Don't know if there's anything at this base here. We'll get. Nah, I'm not gonna gamble. We'll come out this way though. Yeah, there was something there. Glad I didn't do that. And we have artillery here that we may be able to pick off. That'll be good. <clears throat> All right. So we didn't entice their infantry, unfortunately, to move up. So let's just see if we can clear these guys out real quick. Three and five. These guys back here can't hit anything, so we'll just use them on this. Four destroyed, three suppressed. See if these guys can take them out. Damn artillery there. Let's 
let's go ahead and take the town. Pull the artillery up right here. Maybe next turn they can shoot these guys. And then, see these guys are in a forest. So I had mentioned you don't want to put tanks in forest because infantry get a uh, bonus to fo forest and mountain and city combat versus tanks. They do have this artillery here though, so you have to be wary of that. Let's see what happens down here. We may or may not need our bomber for this. Let's clear these guys out here. Five destroyed, five suppressed. Ah, nice outcome. Let's see if we can take this artillery out. Can't get to it. So I think they're damaged enough to where we can go ahead and ignore it. Um, yeah. So let's come down here. This is where the main brunt of the assault is anyway. So let's take care of these cavalry here. Actually, let's go ahead and just take their tank out. We can deal with the infantry afterwards. Hit them with their tank first. And then hit them with this tank and they should overrun. Good deal. Okay. Let's bring these tank, this tank right here, down towards Malawa. And then with our bomber. See, these guys aren't clear. We hit these guys. We may be able to bring our tank in and overrun, but they have a lot of counter attack. So let's bring our bomber this way and see if we can soften this artillery up at all. Nice. Destroy four and suppress six. And then with our fighter, we will strafe these engineers one more time. Again, they don't do anything. And then we'll protect our bomber with our fighter. And these guys will want to head down towards Malawa. And the, more importantly, this airfield. So. Go ahead and just put them right there. They have support fire from the artillery. They should be okay. And then our recon may be able to get back and hit the artillery due to phased movement. They can. Let's see if we can take them out. Beautiful. Alright, let's move the recon out this way. I have another tank and another regular. Let's move our infantry up and just go ahead and hit these guys. Move the artillery up as well. Kind of play leapfrog with the artillery, that way these guys can support fire. 
these guys can support fire next time. And then these infantry will continue bringing down this way. Like so. Okay. So let's see what we want to do around Malawa. Let's send this tank right here down the road. I believe. Yeah, right here. Or, no, sorry. Right here. And we'll kind of play leapfrog with this artillery as well. Try and make sure that everything stays within striking distance though. This artillery in. It only has a range of three, so we want to get that one as close as possible. And then we'll bring in the motorized division here. It's um, the range on these four. Okay, yeah, they should be all right in there. So next unit. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. And the engineers retreated back to the airfield. I just bombed my artillery. So the artillery here got bombed, so we'll need to take care of this. This is a bomber. So we'll get to that. Let's see what we can do here. These cavalry units. Let's see if we can take this artillery out. And more artillery right there. Nice. Got that. See if we can take this one as well. No. Next turn. Okay. So with these guys right here, this artillery unit will we'll go ahead and clear this cavalry out. Four and three, so they can be overrun. Yes, we can. And then with these guys, we will hit this unit. Four destroyed, four suppressed. Um, let's see if we can hit them with. No, I want to hit the artillery with these guys, actually. Let's just. Hit them with these guys here. After. There we go. Probably not the best move, but it's alright. Overrun here. Good. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of this bomber here. Good deal. Okay. So we're gonna need a bomber support here to take these guys out then. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And then we'll 
hit him with the pioneers. He should finish the job there. Nice. All right. And then we'll just head out this way towards the objective. We have artillery down here with a range of three. And they have three infantry on the base. So if that's all they have, then we may not need too much to take that one. Well, oh, these are like, <clears throat> excuse me. Let these artillery move out that way. And then, uh, that engineer is down here. Let's take this artillery out. through the middle here, around the airfield, and maybe go ahead and head down that way. Like so. Take this artillery out now. Nice. Then these engineers can just sit there. This artillery can't reach anything. So I will just move move the infantry in get ready to hit Malawa on the next turn. We'll let these guys sit right here and kind of play a screen game for the artillery. engineers can come here and hit this artillery so what I'm gonna do is just block the engineers completely like that and they won't be able to go around and the artillery should be safe we may lose the town but we can get it back Okay, and that's all of our moves. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can take this artillery out here. Let's see if 
if our bomber can help take this out. Doesn't appear so. Let's see what these cavalry can do. Ah, rather defense, it's not good. Okay, so we'll just wait for reinforcements here. Send them one tank to be safe. And earlier we saw that engineer go to the airfield, so let's see if we can get the airfield now. Doesn't look like it or our infantry can't reach yet. I also have a regular there too. Oh man. <laughs> That's alright. Alright, let's see what we can do about the lava here. So, go ahead and take this idiot. We'll go ahead and take the city itself first, and then we'll mop everything else up around it. And remember, up in the top right corner, you can see the destroy and suppression numbers. <coughs> okay, that's good. Since these guys shot, we'll go ahead and just let them take the... X and then we'll wipe these guys out and overrun here and then we'll take these guys and hit them with these infantry and then we will overrun with these guys. And then these engineers, they're going to be a little difficult. Let's hit them. Let's hit them once to break their entrenchment a little bit with their recon. Nice, they took one as well. And then the recon can go do recon things and they've got bases and so on. So let's hit. Just hit them with all the infantry here. Knock these guys out so we don't have to worry about them anymore. There we go. Now we can take this tank. So we'll hit them with this tank first. Uh, actually, I forgot to... Use the artillery here, my bad. And since they're in a city, we'll go ahead and send these guys this way to help at the airfield, and we'll move these guys in because they're in a city, so that should just pretty much be the end of this unit. Yeah. That's why you don't put tanks in your cities. <laughs> And then we'll let these guys drive down the uh, road towards the next objective, the 217th De Motorized Division. Along with the artillery that we gave them. And we'll let the 11th Division here just play guard duty with this short-ranged Actually, the artillery could be useful, so we'll take that with us. This wagoned artillery, though, can stay around the lava, along with this one. Okay. So we just have to move these now. Let's 
send these guys out that way in case they need reinforcements here. And then our plane. What we're gonna do with our fighter now? Oh, these guys are weak, so we'll hit them. But we are going to start using it to unentrench up here because fighter attacks can also unentrench. Nice, destroyed two. And if only I had one more tank. I'll leave this recon here. And I'll move it down once just for scouting purposes. You can see that they have a cavalry which spots at three, so we're gonna need to be careful on our approach. I'm glad I moved that. Otherwise I wouldn't have known. And that's the end of the turn. Okay. So let's see if we can get this base here. We need to resupply our bomber. They also got a bar of experience at Chekanow. You can see they have a battle honor for it. Destroyed one, suppressed three. There. All I really want is the base. And let's take this airfield so that our bomber can resupply their self. Leave any artillery in range. Oh, that's not good. Pesky infantry here. Man. Okay, so now that we have the airfield, we can bring our bomber back and resupply it. start hitting this artillery up here with these recon units. They're actually really good against artillery. <clears throat> there we go. We'll have to worry about that now. And remember the cavalry can spot at three, so anything on this line these guys spot at two, so we'll be, we'll be seeing either way coming in. But let's put them right here, and all right, the artillery right here. And then we'll come behind with these guys. Should pretty much do it for combat this turn. Let's just continue moving down. Uh oh. We just put our artillery next to the infantry. That's not good. 
it's really not good. Let's see if we can get down down there fast enough to rescue them. And with these guys, we're going to, with this recon here, we're going to try and take these bases and kind of work the outskirts of this town for uh, spotting purposes. Kind of like that. Oops. So these guys can see them, but they should be more worried about the objective. Okay, so the 217th is going to come south while the rest stay and defend around here. Like that. That should work. Actually, we'll send these guys to the airfield. Okay, and that'll do it for this turn. We're getting closer and closer. Cavalry went down to defend that. Well, we got very lucky not to lose that artillery there. So these guys are pretty much out of the game. We'll just send them back. That was a huge mistake on my part. So let's see if we can take these tanks out. I didn't see where the infantry went though. I guess it probably went south somewhere. Perhaps this recon can pick it up. Yeah, there they are. I have an engineer here defending. Something to be aware of. Go ahead and hit these guys and start weakening them. We'll let these weakened guys take this town. And then we will bring our infantry up to about right here. Like that. And then we'll tuck the artillery in behind. bringing everyone down. Probably need to spend a turn on resupply. We still have eight turns left before a brilliant victory is out of the question, though, so we should be okay. So these guys here, they could be a nuisance if they're not dealt with. So let's just try and deal with them. Use the bomber. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then our fighter will go ahead and start lowering the entrenchment here. 
So you can see they're entrenched by six. After this, they should be entrenched by five. And they are. So what we we'll want to do now is take these artillery and start softening up around here. We may actually be able to force them. If we bring our cavalry here inside the city and hit them with artillery, we may be able to just take them out right now and force them to cover that. But let's just take out what's around. That's not good. Let's try not to overthink it too much. Bring this tank in here. And the cavalry can come around this way. And let's see if we can do that. Our <sighs> defense again. Jeez. It's okay. We'll just let these guys sit there. Let's go through a bunch of next turns here. Okay. Um, I'll let this recon continue taking these bases. We want this airfield actually. That's all of our units. Looks like it. Yep. It's about in the turn there. Okay. Let's start around here. They bought a engineer unit. That's not good. Shot, so I'll, let's go ahead and take these guys out. And then we'll get our bomber to hit these engineers here. Nice, they destroyed seven, so we should be able to get another up overrun in. And then the pioneers should be able to just take these guys out. Nice. And then the cavalry can go ahead and step on that. And then we can bring guys down, try and take this base or town. Bring these infantry down. Or Actually, we'll resupply on their low on fuel. Um, I think the artillery and these guys can handle this, so let's start unentrenching this cavalry unit here so we can get the town for the more prestige. Getting a little bit low on shot numbers, but it should be okay. Overrun. Okay, we're getting really low on supplies. Should be okay though. Attacking these guys to lower their entrenchment. Oh, we got a leader. They destroyed one and we have our first leader. 
What do we have? Aggressive maneuver. I think that's standard for every tank. They just automatically get an aggressive maneuver. And then the other one is, oh, first strike. That is great. So that means that every time this unit fires, he will always fire first now. That is it. One of the best traits in the game. And what we're going to do is rename this as FS for first strike. So that we know when we hover over it and you can see in the lower left corner, it will now say slash FS. And I automatically know that this leader has first strike now. Which is probably my favorite um, leader trait in the game. It's just so good. If you can get it on a Pioneer, it's even better. Pioneers with First Strike Trade are really, really nasty. These guys are even needed. That's okay. Alright, so we'll let this recon come up here and try and take this town. They're not great fighters, but it'll give them a bunch of experience. And that should do it for this turn. Okay, as you can see, there's becoming less and less things for the Polish to do. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and hit these guys here once again. And then we will go ahead and stop at the airfield just to give them some ammo. And we'll continue trying to take this. So you see they destroyed one again. And I think last turn they were at 71 experience, now they're at 86. So when recons do get kills, they gain a lot of experience. It's really nice. Um, these guys need to be resupplied or they won't make it there. And then put these guys there and bombard them next turn. I'm not going to risk that. What we could do is just hit it with our bomber though and probably with the recon stuff on it. Nope. So we got a, a leader for our bomber now. They're at two bars. They have two just in this scenario. So they have skilled assault. Don't remember exactly what that one does. Let me look that up real quick. Give me one second. I have a chart on my phone. So skilled assault. It says the bomber cannot be surprised while moving. So that's good. We can we can fly it all over the the map now and no fighter basically can intercept it so that's good and what's the other trait aggressive maneuver okay so that means they can move at 17 instead of 16 now not too great for a bomber it's really good for a tank but not for a bomber but that's okay um i believe that was all up there. We have our first strike tank. Let's see. Who needs experience? These guys have a bar. Is anyone close? These are at 16. These guys just got one. This recon. Oh, yeah. Let's get this recon a bar of experience. Not this time, Tim. 
what about the artillery? 18 and 28. Not even close. Okay. So that pretty much does it right there. Um, I'm not going to take the objective though just yet because I kind of want to milk the prestige and we have six turns left to do so. So I don't want to kill these guys. I actually want them to step off of the base and then keep them alive if possible. So we'll see if we can do that. I only have one. And if I do this, they're liable to just be destroyed, so we'll end the turn. It's overcast. Give them a little bit of breathing room here as well. We can at least take this. Maybe. There we go. Now let me rename this. Aggressive maneuver. And then I'll just let those guys step on that. I'll come hit these engineers with this plane, see if they can get some experience. They didn't do anything. See if we can get this recon some experience. Okay, so even though they didn't actually destroy a unit, they still got experience because they lost units. So that's good. I'll just back these guys up a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn. Same thing. Let's see if we can at least kick these guys off next turn. How many left? Three. We're almost there. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys some major experience and push them off the base. I have 67 right now. Actually, we'll wait till the last turn to do that. Yeah, they move for me. That's always good. <laughs> Guess I should have done it. Well, and as you saw, it was raining, so we can't use our bomber. But. We can do this pretty easily now. They pretty much just left it up to us. We can take take this. Let the artillery get experience. And then our infantry here can finish it. I believe they had 67 last time. Now they have 79. Okay, and that does it for Cheka now. This is the last turn for Brilliant Victory. We have successfully taken all of the towns and has basically milked the prestige for all it's worth that we can before Brilliant Victory is ran out. So we'll save it here. And LT scenario 2. And then we'll let the recon step on the base and see what they have to say. Herr General, very good work. The crisis is over, and the Polish army has collapsed. Once you let us pass the river, nothing could stop our panzers. 
Congratulations! The Soviet Union has invaded Finland, Herr General, and our Finnish friends have trapped a Soviet division in the town of Suomasalmi. Unfortunately, an even greater Soviet relief force is moving to aid their comrades, and the Finns are outnumbered. It is your task to destroy the isolated enemy and prevent the relief force from reaching them. Of course, due to our non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union, you and your troops will be considered volunteers. If you are defeated, the general staff will deny any knowledge of your participation, and you may expect the worst if captured. Right. Can't get a prototype unit that time, but that's okay. We have 1,554 prestige now to play around with. We have our first couple of leaders and a couple of units with the bar of experience. So, moving along pretty well. We'll go ahead and leave it there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.